All right, so um, this question brought us on making loan choices, right? When you're presented with different tenure, you're different presented with different APRs, you know, that you have an amount that you can afford, right? So let's look at this question. So someone needs to borrow 10,000 to pay a car and the person has determined that, uh, has determined that monthly payments and the person has determined that monthly payments of 225 are affordable. So the person can only be able to pay 225 every month, right? So that's the person's budget for his monthly payment. Now, we are talking about two, uh, three banks here. So a bank is offering a three-year loan at 8% APR. Another bank is offering a four-year loan at 8.5 um, APR. And a third bank is offering five-year loan at 9% APR. Now we wanna know which loan best meets the person's needs. What are you thinking? How do you help this person to make a decision based on their budget. Okay, now we have to resort to Excel. That's why Excel is showing up here. So I'm going to start with one. So this cell, the first cell will stand for bank um, number one. So, and we're going to use Excel's PMT function as we did in the previous video. So if you haven't watched, if you haven't watched that, look for that. So we do equal sign and then PMT, right? The monthly interest uh, for the first bank is 8%. We will change that to a, a decimal, which will be 0 0.08 divided by 12 to get the monthly interest rate. And then the number of payments, okay? This bank is offering for three years. So the number of payments will be 12 times what? Three comma, and then minus the loan amount. The loan amount that this person needs is what? 10,000. And then we close the parentheses right there. What did I do? So let me expand that. Let me bring that here and see what is happening. So we didn't have to put a comma here. Okay, it's, it changes everything. Did I put 100? It's rather 10,000. Okay, 10,000. Okay, good. So don't do that. So that is 10,000. Okay. And um, so this bank, if the person goes for the first bank, that means that the person would have to um, give out 313.36 every month, but that's outside the budget, right? So we have to look at what bank B is offering and what the payment will be. So we look at equal sign PMT. All right, now the APR for the second bank is 0 0.085. We divide that by 12 comma. All right, the number of payments, the number of payments will be 12 times four because this bank is offering for four years and then minus the loan amount of 10,000. So 10, one, two, three, and then we close the parentheses. Okay, so the bank B says that if you go at that rate, you have to pay 246, 48 a month. That's still outside the budget. So like it's more likely that bank number three will be a favorable deal, right? So we look at the APR for bank number three, which is 0 0.09 divided by 12 comma. And then this bank is offering for five years. So we do five times 12, okay? And then minus the loan amount is still 10,000. Let me do just 10,000. And so which one would the person go for? So most definitely this person will go for uh, the third loan, right? Because that best meets the person's needs since he wants to put down 
his budget is 225. So that is how you address this kind of problem. All right, see ya, bye, thank you.